OK, welcome back. Um, let's start off with a question. Yes, Prince. I don't know can I the whole process of counseling is to identify like especially now as we are doing this it's like we're trying to uh explore the problem of a person and try to give them uh make him understand what is the solution he can take can we also counsel ourselves well if you're able to ask the right questions you may not be able to counsel you can explore a lot of things yourself but uh, it may be limited because you're in the thick of those emotions so it's always helpful to get support from somebody else who's able to see things a little bit more objectively what sorry writing yeah, yeah, you shouldn't just think, you're right. You should maybe write, yeah. So as a counselor also, we can't counselor. Because uh, we, we are developed, we have the ability and skills to see through. Our but, uh, so what does a counselor help to do is they are able to keep aside the emotions and help you with the questions to let you think in a certain direction. When I am dealing with a problem and I'm so filled with an emotional space, to keep aside that emotions and think rationally takes a little bit of effort. So I may not be able to do that because I'm so steeped in that emotion that time. But then when I'm in, when, when there is someone else, they're able to be more objective than I am. And that's why it's helpful to have a... They're not involved in that, those the feeling of those emotions. Right now, I'm feeling it, and I'm also trying to uh, navigate that. But it it is it can be done if you if you're able to calm yourself and give yourself some time and say, okay, I'm feeling like this. Let me let me give myself a few days to think. I mean, that's what a lot of us do, right? We we try and work out our problems ourselves, right? So that's what we all do. Okay. All right, so we were at um, we were at gold. Sorry, I think we moved, move a slide. Sorry, now is it moving? Sorry, I didn't move the slide. So sorry. Okay, so um, so in the previous previous, what did we see? We said that to to clarify those problem feelings, right? So I think what we need to understand in Dennis here is um, that this his argumentative behavior, his aggressive behavior, that poor uh, emotional um, responses, the poor relationship with his professor, um, the, the low self-esteem, his problem with authority all came out of that negative emotion of anger, of resentment, and probably a poor relationship with his parents. So we, we understand that that's where all of this is stemming up from. Uh, so the next thing is, like we said, we are identifying the goal-oriented or the problem behavior. That's what we are attempting to do to identify what that problem behavior is. Now, when you when you see this, the what is his goal? If, if you see his, his chosen goal is that he needs something to help him cope with his disappointment and anger. And what is that good thing he found? Was alcohol. So that is his chosen behavior, chosen goal. So what you're attempting to do through, through this conversation is to see if he's open and the willingness to change the goalpost. Okay, because right now taking to alcohol could be something to get even with his father, right? So if he takes alcohol, will he fulfill his father's dream of becoming an engineer? So in, in some way, his behavior actually is not really doing what his father wants, isn't it? He's getting into alcohol, he's doing badly in college, so he's definitely not going to fulfill his father's dream. But he hasn't realized that it's not going to fulfill even his dream. right? So he's come to a place of destroying himself so much that maybe 
his authorities will throw him out of college, right? So in a very uh, unconscious way, he's attempting to destroy life for himself. Maybe he's not really conscious, but it's coming out of that negative emotions, that negative space. All right. So that's what you're identifying to figure out what, what his current behavior is. And we see that his behavior, to, in order to cope with something negative, he has used alcohol. So once you have got that, you the next thing that you're doing is you're identifying the wrong beliefs or the wrong strategies that are underlying the problems. You're actually looking at what is the wrong belief that he has. So maybe some of his be beliefs are like this. My father does not love me. He doesn't care about my wishes. Probably that's a wrong belief, right? Or alcohol will help me get over my pain or disappointment. Or being a rock band, si rock band singer will make me a fulfilled person. So all of this uh, is something that you want to come to a place to highlight so he can begin to identify what is he that what is it that he's pursuing so the main goal of exploration in this area is to understand what is wrong with this belief that is actually driving dennis and that comes only when you you empathize with him and bring up probably the question is what do you think this disappointment does to you so he may say I know I'm disappointed. Because I'm disappointed, I don't have anything else to do, so I take in alcohol. And I know that will hurt my father. right? So you, so there may be this, and these beliefs are not something he's going to openly tell you. But then as you explore is what he's going to do. So what you're doing is, uh, you. it's important that once you have an idea about these wrong basic beliefs, you are able to build a greater picture of what he wants. So over here itself, you see that there is a lot of issues with self-esteem. Correct? There's Remember those three things? Value, security, um, security, significance, and self-worth. Self-worth, significance, uh, security. So here you can see there is a lot of issues with the with the fact of his own self-worth, OK? So we identify the problem feelings. We identify what the behavior has been. We identify the beliefs that are there behind this, this basic behavior. And what are you doing next? Once you have identified this, next you are helping them to personalize the problem. What does personalize the problem mean? To take responsibility of their own situation right so what you are helping your counselee do is to become aware that he is also a part of that problem okay and you're not saying that saying hey dennis you are a part of your own problem that's not how you bring it about but the more that you address his feeling the more that you're able to address the thoughts behind it he probably comes to this statement i'm disappointed that i was not allowed to follow my dream and i need something to help me cope although i know alcohol is not the answer but i can't help it anymore right so what have you done he's begun or you've brought him to a point where he has been able to personalize his problem to say that I am wrong. So often it is true that as human beings, we always blame others when something goes wrong. Who did he blame here? Father. His father, right? So he's blamed his father. Now, if you are going to stand alongside with him and blame his father too, you're not helping him. But that does not mean you support the father also. OK? Yeah. <laughs> so, so, okay. In a conversation, you may you may say something like, you know, you feel disappointed because your father had these expectations on you. Okay. So, th so in that way, you're showing him that he is. He says, yes, I'm really upset with my father. Right. So, my next question would be: Is having understood or having known that you that your father has expectations of this of you? 
if there was something you could do to change your own situation, what would you do? So, father, when you talk to the father, that time you'd ask the father what he can do. So there you're giving a suggestion, right? So what am I? What did what the question is saying? If you could change the situation in some way, what would you do? So he said, maybe I should talk to my father, right? Or he'll say, uh, I know alcohol is a problem. I need to get out of this. Got that? Yeah. So you are moving him to make a choice, to make a decision about something. Okay. So the meaning of personalizing is to helping them become aware of their own problem. So to explore how they are a part of their own problem. All right. If we finish fast, we'll probably do a, a role play. I'll be the counselor, one of you. But I need somebody to be a counselor, and and we can I can help you to see how the questions move in such a way that will help you personalize and think about it. Okay, so we'll we'll try. Yeah, others it's not counselling. <laughs> it is uh, advice giving, isn't it? Right, so you're helping them, getting them to look deep in themselves to find out what is causing the problem. So, Dennis, my anger, my irritation is causing the problem. Why? Because I'm angry with my dad. And for that, what am I doing? I'm probably doing this. I need to realize that, okay, I'm there. You keep trying. So that, now that is a belief. So if me as a counselor, I believe that Anand will never get it. That is the way that I believe about you. And so the way that I help you is going to be like that. But then I will say, huh? Sorry? Yeah, but so that's what I'm saying. It really matters the attitude that I have towards you. So if I say, even if Anand ten times I talk to him, if he if he still thinks he can't do anything about it, I know that he can do something about it. I believe that he can do something. He has God's given him the ability, the idea, the thoughts to think. So the more what will I do? I'll keep pushing you with questions till a place you come and say. Oh, yes. mm -hmm. so so I shouldn't give up. It's like helping the other person think that it could do it exactly. So, so I'm going to bring you to that place to say it is. It's only in your hands that you can think about what is the next thing you can do. You use your resources. You say maybe I'll go back to God and pray. I say wonderful because that's what you decide. Uh, that's what you will do because if I say Anand, you should seek the Lord. Today, say, ah, yeah, yeah, right, right. You won't know what happened because it, it didn't come from here. Ma'am, like, uh, we know, like, we can't give suggestions, but we only help them to seek the solution for them. But what if they are in a place that they want to only ask for what you want me to do? Yeah. Like, instead of we telling them what you want to do, what if they are in a place of asking us what I have to do now? will come. They will say, I've come to you, you tell me what to do, right? So, uh, but that is, that's something that we need as a counselor needs to understand. That is the pattern of people. That's how generally people are. I don't want to think, you tell me. And then tomorrow what happens? They'll blame you. I didn't do that, that, that the counselor told me to do, so I did it. That's, that is the normal tendency of people. Right. So when someone asks me, what do you think I should I should do? I said, I'd like to hear from you. What would you like to do first? I said, I don't know. I said, think a little bit. Take some time to think. Give it a day to think. It's very important that you don't suggest something. See, you can again when I say suggestions, in later on you will see there are something sometimes 
you you can bring about suggestions but not say you should do this what you could say is there are certain certain thoughts or certain ways some of this can be worked out one is this or one is that one is this uh, is this something you'd like to look at or do you have something else you can give an option like giving there is biryani there is fried rice there is lime rice there is puliyogare which of, would you like this or do you have a third fifth one that's possible but you don't say you know you should be able to do this yeah so so that that is correct and that's what people do but as a counselor your your basic profession is to help them to help themselves so you're teaching them how to fish even though it is hard even though it takes 10 15 sessions you stick by it yeah yeah it is work it's a lot of work <laughs> okay so where were we yeah so we said uh, getting them to personalize their problem, bringing them to a place of, of identifying that they are equally playing a part in the problem. All right. Now, once they have identified that, the next thing you're doing is you're encouraging them to personalize the problem and the goal together. So what does that mean? You are helping your counselee to assume responsibility for what he's doing. Yes, I am drinking alcohol and also establish a new goal and i want to form the right goal okay so you are getting them to play to a place where they say yes i am contributing to this but i also want to uh, uh, to find a way to do something other than alcohol so for example i realize that alcohol is not the solution to take away my anger or disappointment but working to pursue my dream while I train to be an engineer. So what is his new goal? And to pursue his dream. That's his new goal, right? So he, you've brought him through the conversation to a place which he only said. He's only said, you wouldn't say, no, you forget being among a rock band, you only do that. No, he only said, I've understood that alcohol is not something that can help me, but I want to work towards this. So you've, you've uh, attached, personalized the problem. That is, I am the problem. I know alcohol is my problem. But, and you've attached the goal. Francis, are you here? Uh, come back. Uh, and I want to be an engineer, or I want to be this by pursuing my dream. So you have helped to attach both together. OK? OK, got that? So in problem exploration, what all are we doing? The first is an assessment. Yeah. The second is uh, you, are, you are doing the problem identification. So first of all, you identify the significant negative feelings that are there. Identify what the behavior is, helping them personalize the goal and personalize the goal, uh, personalize the problem and then the goal together. Francis, where are you? Here. You're here. OK. All right. Any questions? If not, I think we will probably um, do a few role plays so that we'll try. And as I'm doing that, I, I'll probably help you to uh, understand this process. Yes, Francis, give me a question. Uh, so like on counselor, when do another own counselor? Do for a counseling like I'm said like regarding principal other question like you said like it can't be like self is not post yeah is not much possible so like my question is like is this one counselor is going to another one counselor for a counseling but uh, but this person know everything yeah about counseling how that person is going to do and all so how it will be effective like, how that person will counsel this person like yeah like 
uh, this person know everything like what the method and all but still just take the thought he's going through on thought so counselor is going, this is like what 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 so he is thinking like uh, okay i know everything i am not able to overcome that that's what you are saying so in case of that situation like how the another counselor can take the position like how to counsel that kind of situation for if there is one counselor going to the other counselor they're going willingly because they're not able to manage their their uh, situation not because they know everything and then they're going isn't it so they, they know what they is going to do they yeah but okay so the process is not the only thing that matters it's the skill that matters also how you are leading those questions how you are helping to persons it's not just the process and i i'm not saying right now to okay i'm going to explore now i'm going to understand now we will do action it's not like that it's through the skills that a person is being helped right so the process may be same but the skills is what really helps a person to share a lot more okay all right yeah it's a part of it counseling is a part of psychology it comes within that okay so will one of you all think of a problem i'm going to ask my online students because it makes it much more easier to relate here maybe the next week i could, if we have time we could do a second uh, role play with someone on the online platform yeah anyone who wants to think of a not too serious a problem something uh, no so that it doesn't get you know to uh, because i want to help you all see this um see what i'm doing here and that's why i said you know not too much of a anybody anand is thinking hard for a problem anand francis you don't want to talk no no someone be willingly i'm not going to call anybody someone willingly when you all are the counselors i will call you <laughs> now you're like counselee yeah yeah so you should come with something you want to talk about maybe it is uh, yeah problem going with something but they don't know what's going to talk Wrong, but don't know what. No, 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 no. Make it your personal problem, not somebody else's. Oh, not personal, at least. It's your problem. Ah, oh, okay. So you can talk. If you're okay to talk about it, talk about it. <laughs> yeah, I may ask you because I need to understand details. So you should be, you should be okay to share publicly in this forum. <laughs> mike mike use the mic yeah if you okay so if you want to assume you can assume or something that nobody knows or whatever leave it to you all okay take the mic i have to say the topic ma'am again no okay you like you talk to me me yeah okay all right take the mic because there is really mystery Hello, ma'am. Good morning. Huh? Good morning. Good morning. You want to come here? You can see us. Okay, just open. I am Buddhist. Well, it's okay, ma'am. Let them assume. Okay. Oh, yeah. Let them assume who you are. Okay. Hi, friends. Nice to see you again. How are you doing? Uh, hello, ma'am. Yeah, I'm doing okay. So, uh, since I know you, you uh, wanted to talk to me about something, what are you hoping to see uh, as an outcome from our conversation? What would you like to see changed as an outcome? 
as a result of our conversation? Uh, I'm hoping uh, to see uh, answers or okay. uh, help how I can deal with things. So I, I submit to going through something that's a little challenging. Right. Yeah, actually it is. Um, so if you did have these answers to these, the problem that you have in mind, mm -hmm. uh, how would you be different? Uh, I would be so free. I would be so happy. Okay. Uh, I will not uh, feel so distressed. So you'd be free, you would be happy, you would be you wouldn't be distressed. Yeah. Okay. All right. So um, what are some signs that will tell you what that will show you that you are happy and uh, free without this problem? If there if this problem wasn't there, you said you'd be happy and free, right? Mm -hmm. So what is one thing that you would notice about yourself if that problem isn't there? One more thing you would do if this problem wasn't there. One thing I'll do. You would do if this problem was not there. Uh, I'll be jumping around, maybe. You'll be jumping around? Conversing uh, with people. Jumping around. Uh, I'll be a lot more socialized, actually. So I understand that there is some concern that you have with, right now with talking to people, that you've kept yourself away from other people. Uh, can you repeat the question? Have you kept yourself away from other people right now? Uh, not so much, but yeah. Okay. All right. So, could you tell me what is it that you are going through with? Mm. Uh, I don't know how to put it actually, but uh, I'm not feeling like uh, completion or wholeness inside. And uh, it was uh, actually, I feel like I'm so dry. So dry. dry. Okay. And I'm just only seeing things what I can't able to do. And that was making me distress. So you, you feel that you, you lack the energy. Hmm. You lack uh, so zeal, you lack uh, any kind of enthusiasm. To yeah, something. actually. Right? You're only able to see the, the negative things of life. Right? Yeah. And what has brought you to this point of feeling that feeling? What has made you feel this? What has created that feeling? So here, yeah, uh, what what did I do until the previous? I have not come up to the place of understanding what the problem is, but I did something prior to that. What did I do? Uh, exploring, and I'm and I'm I've identified that he's his feeling, his problem feeling. I've identified right. He said uh, he's distressed, he's unhappy. He has no energy, no zeal. So I'm trying to figure out what is causing that. Okay, that's what I'm doing right now. Okay, so remember here, I'm not going through the general chronology. You've you've noticed that, right? Okay, yeah. You're still thinking, huh? That's why I said you should have some real thing because otherwise you will have to create something. Made you feel that. Okay. So, what is it that's brought you to this place? Uh, unenergetic, unenthusiastic. Uh, low self esteem, maybe. I think I can't make it, or. Uh, and, not having that energy to pursue and sustain what I actually like. 
So you say that you have certain thoughts about not being able to do something. You feel you're not good enough. Yeah. Really, whatever comes your way, you're not. You don't have the ability to do. Yeah. These are the thoughts that you have. Do you keep thinking about these thoughts or not? No, I do. Huh? I do. What did I do? What What came up here now? Ah, so look back. What is the basic beliefs? What is his belief? I can't do. I'm not good enough. This is his belief, right? So I, I didn't have said it, but then just the questions have to. Okay. So um, I'm sure that makes you feel um, uh, very low, very disappointed at yourself. When you come across things and you feel you can't, right? Mm -hmm. Has there been any event or any situation that made you feel like this? What do you remember? Which is the first situation or event you went through that made you feel like this? That you were good for nothing, you can't do things. You can not, you can make up one. Okay? You don't have to. You can make it. Oh. Because maybe you fail in your standard. It's just, just that privacy, confidential. I can't uh, drive car very well. Okay. So you attempted to drive. learn how to drive a car, but but you failed to do mm. so. Okay. How many times did you try that? Uh, I like to drive, okay. but every time I drive car, I draw, uh, I make some mistakes and that actually makes me, I'm not very good at it or I can fully can drive properly. Okay. So every time you attempt to drive a car and you fail, it has reinforced that belief that you're good for nothing or you can't do anything mm. and you don't. And it also can, that becomes a, a, a statement that you keep thinking about. Oh, yeah. That if you can't do anything. That I can't drive properly. Can't drive properly. Yeah. So has this affected you in any other area of your life? Uh, emotionally, how I uh, see myself in other areas also where there are some challenges or some tasks needed like it affects on my uh, strength or how i see my potential in other things so this has actually uh, been um, displaced to even other areas of your life where you say when there are other tasks maybe at work or at college when you have to do some tasks you're actually doubting yourself yeah is that true how do you feel about um about about the task that you can't do what is what is the feeling that comes to you when you're not able to perform or do the task that's given to you outside of driving when it has when it affects you in other areas what do you feel uh, maybe i was not uh, for it like it's not something that job that I can do it. It's for someone else. But I was called to do, and uh, also maybe I need to build how to do it, or I have to learn more how to do those things. Actually, what what happened here? What's he doing now? He's only come to a place of saying maybe he said even in the other tasks i don't find it con i don't i'm not confident to do maybe i should learn it maybe i should try. he's only done it he's only come up to his own goals okay yeah now now that's only the beginning we haven't finished okay great so so that so that's good so if in these tasks that you have to can you give me an you were not expecting you would answer that see so so that's what i meant through the conversation, through the 
uh, questions, counselees will come up to a point of beginning to understand what they need to do. Right? OK. So uh, Prince, give me one example of an area that you have struggled with. Not the driving, not the driving case, but any other place that you have struggled with. Where you, have, you were telling me about the stuff, right? Mm. So give me one example. Any recent example? Uh, like, sorry, like uh, any other, or is it related to other tasks that we? Uh, so you said, you said that the task, uh, the driving, affects your thought about your abilities, mm -hmm. which is also affecting the way that you do other tasks, mm -hmm. right? You feel underconfident in those. Tasks. So, mm -hmm. I think any one example of this, any one example. Managing my finances. Managing your finances. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. So, so do you feel uh, even in like, managing your finances, do you feel you can't do it? You're not confident in managing your finances. Oh, uh, I feel like I can't handle it properly okay. or use it wisely. You can't handle it properly. Okay. And you said. You told me earlier it's something that you you want to learn how to do. Is that something you want to learn how to do? Yes. So if you needed to manage your finances, whose help would you need? <laughs> God, but like from here, maybe I think uh, maybe my mom, maybe someone who is well known in it like how to manage finances so someone like a financial manager or someone yeah. financial consultant right yeah. okay so if you needed to take their help what would you need to do how to go and consult with them talk you with them to go and consult. Okay. what would you require if you need to go and consult with them like uh, what i require is uh first about them i want to know like how they do with their finances uh and what i require is their address number so you you need to know where they are you need, okay that's i know their address but if they are there and you are here if you need to go talk to them what effort would you need to take i have to go and take an appointment to talk with them. Okay. So when you take an appointment with this financial consultant, what will it tell you about yourself? Oh, I feel vulnerable that uh, that he may judge me based on how I spend my expenses. You are sorry, say that again. Like I feel vulnerable and I feel vulnerable. Vulnerable, you feel vulnerable that he may judge you. Yeah. Based on uh, how I at how you manage your expenses. Okay. So uh, so despite feeling that vulnerability, what's giving you the confidence to actually go to him? Uh, not a confidence, but hope that I will find my solution. Maybe okay. it will help it will. help me. Now, in all that you are you're planning to do, what does it show you about your confidence? Mm -hmm. Can you repeat the question? You know, you said that you have to find, you will talk to your mother, you will talk to a financial consultant. So it, it, it is vulnerable for you to actually go and talk to him mm -hmm. about it. But despite that, you are you want to do it, right? Mm -hmm. So what does it tell you about your confidence? Uh, I'm not that much weak to go and seek for help. But you're not that weak to go and seek, seek for help. Which means you are strong how did you realize that you're strong like before uh, it's hard for me to even go and speak about my problem and seek for help but now i take a step so when you take a step you build your strength little by little yeah okay. so if you needed to take the same principle which you told me in your financing your driving class or in driving how would how would you do that differently I'll join driving class. You'll join driving class? 
And what do you think will happen once you join the other class? Uh, I will learn more skills. Okay. Uh, maybe I will acknowledge the mistakes that I have done okay. and what I have to correct. Okay. And what do that make you feel in the end? Uh, actually, that makes me feel first happy, relief, relieve me from the distress, and also it, yeah. It kind of a healing when I see, and it also makes me like, I can do. So what is the new thought you would have with yourself as against the earlier one that you can't do what's getting you want to do? I can do. Everything is possible to me. <laughs> OK. So you either, <laughs> you only said, right? So it, it matters on how you quest it, right? And in this one, I didn't need to do too much of an assessment. Yeah, so each so this is maybe one problem. Tomorrow he may come with something else. We have a problem, but we don't know what is the reason for that problem. How when other people ask, that's because the questions. You will be able to find out when it is something that is personal, you will be able to find out what it is. That's why I said the more personal it is, the more meaning it makes. Others, you really have to imagine something uh, of sorts. Okay. So. Yeah, but that's that's just, that's that's what skills are, you know, and, and that's why you need to practice it. And this can't be just it's not a theory where you say, okay, ten questions you ask this. It's not that way because every person who's talking will be very very different. No, no, no. In in your own own way. Okay. Someone else wants to try. Anyone on online wants to try? We have 10 minutes. Come on, Chira, Chira. 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 Hot seat for coming. <laughs> OK, anybody? Anyone online? Who? Vikram. What did you say? He said that he had a big trouble. Big trouble. You want to say? Chira, would you like to bring up one small problem so we can talk about it? No, Chira said no. OK. OK, there are, everyone's uh, voting for people over here. Okay, because the next few classes, you all are going to be the counselors and I'm going to be the counselee. Okay, so take the opportunity right now to pick up more ideas. We have seven minutes. Yeah, okay. I want Francis. Okay, Francis. Francis, you want me to switch on my camera? No, no. <laughs> I don't know out of the question. Okay, Francis, go on. Are we done? Okay. Are you ready? Uh, Hi, Francis. Hi, ma'am. Uh, how are you doing? Uh, good, ma'am. We're doing well. Okay. Yes, ma'am. So, Francis, you, uh, you come here to discuss something with me. Yes, ma'am. But but I don't know what to discuss. Like, I'm going through a lot of confusions, man. You're going through a lot of confusion? Yes, man. Okay. So, see, man, when I'm listening to class, this type of distractions, some sounds are coming. That is my problem. Man. I'm not able to concentrate on classes, man. You're not able to concentrate? Yes, man. All right. What is the, what is the So, 
first i need to solve out this problem ma'am like so concentration is the biggest problem that you are facing after that, if I'm not concentrating also, I don't have a problem. But after that, I'm regretting about why I didn't concentrate on that. So you are upset that you're not able to concentrate like you should be. Yes, ma'am. Sometimes I'll get angry also about myself why I did like that. So you'll be angry or you'll be upset that you're not able to concentrate. What would you like to see change? In this area of the I don't have any idea. You don't have any idea. What do you think? That's what nothing is coming. So I'd like you to take a moment to think if you're not able to concentrate, something you're not able to do. What would you want to do? Like what would you want to do instead of that? Opposite of their concentration. So you want to concentrate? Yes, ma'am. So if you're able to concentrate, tell me how would you feel? I won't feel any time I'm concentrating. When you are able to, suppose you're able to concentrate in class, you're able to listen, not be distracted. Once you finish, go outside. What would you feel that when you're able to concentrate? I'll feel a freshness of mind, something. You feel, you feel fresh? What else? That's all, messing with the people, what people? talking with the people, chilling. So you would be more free to talk to people because you've been able to concentrate in class? Yeah, no, no, not because of that. I like that, okay. like uh, fully exploring and all, but while coming in, into the classes and all, like keeping silent the, and a lot of distractions, a okay. lot of thoughts will come to mind. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you're saying if you're able to concentrate outside, you would be more free? You would be able to interact with others. You'll be able to do more things because this is on your mind. You're not. You don't feel too good about things. Yes. 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 Okay. So you said uh, uh, when you're not able to concentrate, you have distractions, and you said you have thoughts. Would you share with me what are some of the distractions that come to you when you sit in the class? I also don't know. Even in single time, single difference. Ah, it's okay. So what is the distraction you had in today's class? Sometime I will play drums on my knees. Sometime I will go to some different world. You go to a different world. Yeah. So you move away from this into another place. Yes, and yes. And you're thinking about something else. Yes, yes, and yes. And you play drums on your knees. Yeah, anything, uh, drums, keyboard, guitar, everything will be coming. Okay, everything will come. Okay, all right. And uh, what are the thoughts that come to you? It's like past events, like how I am in school time, okay. my friends in my home, uh -huh. and mostly I will irritate people who is sitting beside of me. Oh, so you don't let them also concentrate? No. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, so you said thank you. You've been very honest, and I'm sure it's not easy to to address some of this, right? Mm -hmm. But but you've been able to do that. So you said uh, thoughts come. Uh, you're distracted and you tend to distract others as well, right? Yes. Okay. Now, uh, if you were to look at, do you understand the meaning of trigger? You understand no. Of okay. What is it that creates a disruptive thought? What begins, suppose I had my class today with you, right? What started the distraction? That music came behind of me. So the music behind you caused the distraction? Yes, yes. Okay. What else caused the distraction? Because of that, I went different world. You went off somewhere else because of that. Yes, okay. yes. So one is, if there is external noise, it distracts you. Yes. Uh, today, there was the drum. What about the first hour? When the first hour happened, what was the distraction then? First hour, what about second class assignment? Sorry? Second class assignment. Oh, so you were distracted about what you should do? No. You were distracted thinking about the uh, yes, yes, yes. So something you have not done, so that... Not because of done, what I will write about that assignment, that is the reason. Okay, so that was a distracted thought. My question is, what began that distraction? How did you go to think about that when your teacher was teaching in the first class? What made you think about that? There is no particular reason, ma'am. Somehow I went. Okay. I'd like you to think about it, okay? Because that's what we call trigger. Trigger is, like for example, 
you said the sound has come and so you're thinking of something else right i went from the concentration so i went to sound and from there i went there just like this sound described to you that is a trigger Okay. Now I am asking you, in the first hour, when you thought about the second class's assignment, what was the trigger then? What Hopefully, I'm I'm thinking like that on a particular point. I didn't understood something what the lecture said. That is the reason. Maybe I went. Very good. So maybe mm. something that the lecturer is saying you didn't understand, so you went off into another world. Well, so you got two distractions. One yeah. is maybe noise. Second is when someone is talking, you're not able to understand what they're saying, then you get distracted, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Very good. So you identify two triggers. Any other triggers? Not so much to say, but somehow it will go. Okay. So sometimes boredom can become a trigger. Yeah. Trigger? yeah, yeah. Is that a trigger for you? You're bored. You're sitting in class and it's very boring. No, I won't get boring. Huh? I won't get boring. No, no. The class is boring. Yeah, that's but what I, that's what I, I'll, I'll simply sit now, please. No. Francis, I'm, we're talking about triggers. Yes, so yes. What is your trigger? So you said one is noise. Yeah, boring is not a trigger for okay. me. No, no. Okay, so you said these three keep it. Right? Okay. So one is noise distraction and second is when you can't understand what the lecturer is saying, okay? Now, if there's something that you could do differently when you hear this noise, what would you like to do differently? What do you think can be something you can begin to do differently when this noise is coming? No, no, no. That would help you to focus. Beating myself, that's all. Sorry? <laughs> Beating to myself that only. No, no, I, I I can't come back to the position of focusing because I'll be in somewhere. I agree. I understand that you're not easy to come. So I'm saying if there was one thing you could do, the smallest thing you could do to come back to focus when these drugs are playing, what is that one thing you would try? I didn't try it till now. You didn't try it. No, no, no. But okay. when I will come back at the event, the interest topic is coming. Okay. Uh, so there's an interesting topic coming, you will come back to it. Yes. Now, yes. just now, you and I were talking the drum thing. Mm. How did you pay attention to what I was asking you? Because I saw that you were able to concentrate despite the drum thing. Because I am talking to you. Because you are engaging with me? Yes. 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 So when you are engaging with something, are you able to bring your concentration back? In middle also I went. I'm talking to you, but I went. Okay. Then I came back. Oh, yeah. yeah. But you you were able to do it a little bit. Is that right? Yes, yes. So the next time you hear the sound like this, what is one way you can engage with your teacher? Or you can engage to come back? Yeah, now sound stops. Huh? Now sound stops, no idea what I will do. Now sound stopped, so I don't know what I, the drum sound. Again, it's just. But you still able to have a conversation with me? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So, how are you able to have this conversation in spite of the sound? Because I'm feeling free. Like, like you are talking to me. So that's what I said. I'm engaging with you. Yeah, right? yeah. Okay. So. You understood that when you are able to engage with something or somebody, then the distraction is much lesser. Yes, yes, yes. Is that what you understood? Yes, yes. Right. So how can you, I'm asking, how can you use this understanding to bring about some help to yourself? Uh, uh, I don't have any idea. You don't have an idea. No. Okay. Now, who do you think has to... Who do you think in your mind can change this for you? Who can change this situation for you? Abhinash Pro. Who? Abhinash Pro. Maybe he can help me. Oh. 
because we are in like good relationship and uh, whenever i am studying he will be sitting with me if i am losing my concentration he will do something he will that yeah. is outside of class yeah no 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 he is outside of class yes 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 so in class who's the best who can help you Sri Radha. Sri Radha. How will Sri Radha help you? Sri Radha will sneeze. <laughs> then I will come back. So Sri Radha has to sneeze for you to come back? No, no, no. Normally, like, she will do something, something like more than me, what I am doing. So I will get to concentration. So now your dependence is on other people to bring you back to concentration. Yeah. Is there anyone else who can really help you? Yeah, like who is like what I went I, I I went through the situation but like everyone like friends are there to help me like hey, concentrate and all. So Francis, you said people outside can help you. Yeah, now Nia Chichi can help me like Nina, whenever Nina, yeah, yeah. Is there anyone apart from all of these others can help you better? No man, only God can do. Yeah. How, how do you think God can help? Yeah, He is all my the then I need to go to theology maps. <laughs> no man, like God is Almighty, He can do whatever He wants to do. Right. So He can help me to concentrate. So what are you going to ask for from God to help you? Give me the concentration. Okay. All right. What is it that you may need to do to get that help? I didn't got that question. What do you need to do to get that help from God? I need to. What do I need to do? I don't know. Maybe I will pray. Okay. What are some strategies? Praying is one. Okay. Yes, praying is one. Right? What are other strategies or methods or ways? If you, uh, if there was something that you could do to help yourself, Pay attention in class. Like you said, the noise has come. You notice the noise there. Right? Yeah, yes, right? yes. So if you needed to come back, what should you notice over here to help you come back? Normally I'll keep a candy with me. I will chew and all and yes, all. Very good. So one thing you're saying is have a candy so that you yeah. can reconnect back. Okay. No, like normally because of that will be I will be awake. My mind will be awake from other okay. thoughts. Okay. Um, is there anything that you can do with your senses, with your mind, with your ears, with your with your eyes, with your hands that can help you? No, my physical body always will be here. Like if you set me to write, I will be writing, but my thought will be somewhere else. Okay. So you said when you're writing, how do you pay attention? Because, like you are saying, I'm writing. So, does that help you keep you concentrated? Mostly not. When you're writing? No, I'll be like, I tried that way, okay. but I slept. But you? I slept in that far. I lost every focus and my handwriting became only one line. Okay. So, it's not working for me. It's not working. No. So, your, one of the strategies you said is to get others to help you. The second strategy you said is you know, actually go ahead and ask for a call. Yes, yes. So what I've asked you to probably think about is if you could do something to help yourself get back into concentrating in class, that's something that that you, you still need to explore. You say, yeah. I, I never thought about it. Yeah. I don't, I've not had strategies to do that. Mm -hmm. You said you tried writing. But that has no, 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 not. Yeah. But you got two clues. Okay? You said one that the class is boring and then there is external noise. Yes. Okay? So if you needed to cut off your external noises and keep focused on what your teacher is saying, uh, what may be one thing that you could try to cut off external noise? If you close my eyes, I can listen. If you close your eyes, I can listen. You can concentrate? Yeah, I can concentrate. Right. So how many strategies have you talked about? One. Huh? Candy. Two. Okay. Candy, candy always is not possible. 
<laughs> because my friends are there, they will ask me for candy. Then which one I am bringing, I need to give back. So. Candy, those eyes, and to send other people to them. Yeah, yes, yes. Yes, yes. So, would you uh, look at evidence of trying these four things in the next week? And next week, when I come, you tell me how it went. Yes, I will. Uh, surely, I will let you know. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you so much. God bless. Yeah, we are better already. Thank you. Thanks. Bye bye.